My name is Akeem, and I'm with City Impact. And this is my poem, I Guess I Just Don't Understand. I overheard a girl speak in class of her struggle, and I was like, man, I wish mine was yours, because having that struggle would be like striking gold, basically saying I would mine for yours, pun intended. But it's exactly that. For years, I've hid behind kitty jokes to make people stop laughing at me, and just for a few seconds, laugh as if they were with me. As I listened, she explained the struggle of coming from a different country, being bullied for her appearance. I wanted to scream out and say, you know nothing of the pain, you'll never understand. I was a kid, to kid tossed on the ground and beat up because his facial discoloration was so funny, it looked like the product of ejaculation. The one place I wanted to fit in rejected me so harshly. However, my consciousness and good judgment prevailed. I listened to her talk about her struggle learning English. I thought to myself, the only words you'll ever need to know in this world are hate and fear, because it's exactly what they bring when they control you. Mindlessly manipulated as they machinate moralist ways to moralist ways to mentally torture you. Because that's all they because I guess I just don't understand. I kept thinking to myself, God says he'll never place you in situations that you'll never that you can't handle. But the nights it got hard for me to look at myself in the mirror and tell myself I was worth more than what they treat me as, shortcuts became a bit more appealing. It felt like only me, a boy with one broken heart and one broken arm. Something I was so ashamed of, because the nicknames never ended, nothing original, all the same. I laughed uncomfortably. Never knew I could hate myself or even laugh at myself in embarrassment. I guess I just don't understand. So as she spoke, she said, as she got older, people accepted her. And I just laughed. Because as a black male, I'm still followed around the store, victim to these stereotypes. It's like I'm expected to steal. Clerks look at me like I'm packing the steel, prepared to call the cops. We no longer trust the police. We want our problem solved, not terminated. But I don't want to press my luck. At the moment, I feel talk, time and the law have failed me. And I wonder if God no longer hears my prayers. I, carry, I no longer carry the potential I once had. Just another potential inmate. Send me back to the lab. Parts of me still held hostage to the system. Hopefully you can send me to a department that actually cares. Because while I shoot for the stars, those who swore to protect and serve shoot for my life. Just some more racial problems I guess I'll never understand. She had different struggles, though through both our sides, what I'll never understand is why we both didn't take a stand. No thought of what she went through personally, the toll it took on her, disgrace, disgracefully dished aside her pain and substituted my selfishness in place of it. I just don't understand why I never stood with her. So please listen, I'll continuously pour out my soul and my heart through this art, with the same amount of energy and passion to the end from the start. I refuse to give in. Never, never took for granted the gifts I was given. Disabled, but more than abled at heart. I'll never give up. Ready, th ready for anything thrown my way, even when life doesn't go my way. This much I understand. <laughs>